I'm Ethan Shirley, and I have an idea. Sou um homem da cidade, tô chegando de viagem, vim buscar. Minha moça, meu amor, a mais linda desse inteiro. Bem-vindo ao Brasil. Welcome to Brazil. My name is Ethan Shirley, and I'm the founder of Pantanal Partnership, an organization dedicated to building a school and research station here in Porto Jofre, which lies in the Pantanal of southwestern Brazil. The Pantanal is the world's largest wetland and has vast open savannas, pockets of rainforest, and numerous lakes and rivers dissecting it. Its exotic flora and fauna includes rare and endangered species like the jaguar and the hyacinth macaw. It is also a key annual stop in migrations of hundreds of birds and therefore is of critical conservation interest. Here at the end of the road in Porto Jofre, there's a small community of fishermen and ranchers who live in poverty and don't have a school. The area is also considerably understudied and of great scientific interest. Providing the community with a school and research station will give it a social and economic boost. In addition to funding the school through research fee, the community will benefit from researchers' additional money in the area. The facility will be green, powered by solar energy, and will use state-of-the-art architecture for natural ventilation. The small fee that researchers pay will fund the teacher and the management of the school and station, and this will make the system economically sustainable. Research at the station will come in many forms, from ecology to sustainable development, climate and human impact studies, and from research professionals to even undergraduates on study abroad programs. The initial investment required to build a school and field station in Porto Jofre will further sustainable development in the region. Integrating the field station into the school ensures financial security and links grassroots and international efforts for conservation. Taking advantage of the need for scientific research, and using technology such as renewable energy and passive building design creates a very sustainable system. The system is widely applicable to conservation hotspots worldwide. The Porto Joffrey project may thus serve as a pilot study and blueprint for future strategies of sustainable development. Thanks a lot for your attention and listening to my idea. Tchau pra você Não adianta Tô indo nessa Tchau pra você